Hello, Move people, and welcome back to finally yet another episode. Well, this isn't really an MLP episode review, but yes, guys, I am back from a entire week of not producing videos, and I am very, very sorry about that. I was just slacking on that week, but I'm back. I'm giving you guys another video, and also happy Spike Appreciation Day. Um, if you guys follow Equestria Daily, you will know that today is Spike Appreciation Day in the Equestria Daily people's fandom. Um, but yeah, in honor of Spike Appreciation Day, instead of reviewing an episode, which will come next week, um, I am going to be looking at Spike and his character and his role in MLP. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, a lot of people don't really like Spike. And I... Man, mainly it's because of how bad his episodes are. It makes him come off as sort of a... Sort of a brat. An ungrateful child, maybe. And also, he's sort of seen as like the butt of jokes. Or like, the comedic relief. And not really getting any characterization for that episode. And while I can see why people, why bronies don't like him because of that, I am one of the people who actually enjoy his character. He's not one of my favorite characters in MLP, but he is a nice character, and I enjoy um, some of his episodes. But the episodes that um, make him sort of a bad guy are All Is Well That Ends Well, Just For Sidekicks, and a lot of other ones. With, I hated those episodes, by the way. And it was because of Spike that I hated those episodes. It, it, it was just because of how bad the writers wrote for him in, in those episodes that made me dislike him for those episodes. I'm saying episodes a lot. Um, but in the episodes that Spike does be a good character, it, sh it puts him in a more positive light. Um, like, Gauntlet of Fire, which is my favorite Spike episode. Um, Inspiration Manifestation. Uh, the Equestria Games. That episode, whenever Spike was doubting his, him, like, being stuff. Um, and yeah, those are really more higher quality Spike episodes in terms of his characterization. Um, because he is portrayed in a more positive light, caring for other ponies, and being self-aware of his actions, unlike in some other episodes. Uh, I don't want to get, I don't, this is an appreciation to ever spike. I don't want to, um, I don't want to get all angry for Spike Appreciation Day. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really do like a lot of the episodes that he is portrayed in a more positive light. And also, another big role that he plays in the show is he is sort of the little brother to Twilight. Like, Twilight might call him his, his, her most, like, faithful assistant, but deep down inside, Spike is like a brother to Twilight. And, I mean, she's he's been there since she was a filly. Um, and Twilight was basically the one who hatched him because of a, um, because of a test to see if she could hatch, um, the dragon egg. And she passed, of course. I mean, of course, she's Twilight. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I really do like that Spike is seen as sort of the big little brother figure. And I do like how sometimes he and Twilight sort of get into sibling sort of spats thing, something sort of spats situations and stuff, um, hold on, I'm gonna put on my, my derpy hat real quick, uh, there we go, uh, that's better, so, yeah, um, I do love how Spike is portrayed as an awesome big brother, and also, his crush on Rarity, now, that's sort of, not really a thing anymore with his thing and Ember. I mean, I ship him and Ember more than I do him and Rarity. Because Rarity, I sort of ship her more with Fancy Pants. I mean, I'm not sure how old. Because Fancy Pants has facial hair. And that sort of s states that 
he's a little bit older than than um Rarity. But anyway, this isn't Rarity Appreciation Day. Um, I sort of feel like that Spike should stop trying to hit on Rarity and just go for Ember. I mean, it might be a long distance relationship, but hey, at least he'll be in a relationship with another dragon instead of with a pony. And um another um thing that I like is how well he and Ember sort of play off one another. Them, Ember sort of being the one that's sort of hesitant to accept friendship, and Spike being the one to introduce her to friendship, was one of my favorite things about the episode Gauntlet of Fire. Um, and I just thought that Spike made that episode shine because he was willing to take another dragon under his wing, even though he has none. <laughs> um, and um, just bring her in as a friend and I just really did like that Spike did that for another opponent for another dragon and um while Spike might be a jerk at times we can all agree that he is an amazing character and is definitely one that still needs to be in the show and I'm excited for more Spike episodes to come in season seven I want to see how he, how, um, stuff goes for him in the next season, and I hope stuff goes well for him. And, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say about Spike and his role in MLP. Go, go out and celebrate Spike Appreciation Day, do some art, read some fanfics, do a fanfiction reading of a Spike fanfic. I'm going to save that until this Thursday, well, where it'll sort of be a late Spike Day celebration. But, yeah, just go do something to celebrate Spike's greatness. I'm going to draw an art piece of Spike after this. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys. Oh, and also, one more little thing that I like about Spike's character is that he befriended a changeling. And that um, he was able to take... Um, a creature that was sort of, um, that was sort of m misplaced and misjudged under his wing, even though he has some, <laughs> and, um, just take him in as a friend, and I just really do like that Spike's willing to accept friendship to a creature that is looked down upon, um, in the, um, pony community, like in the pony race, changelings are looked down upon because they're seen as, oh, love suckers and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to keep calm and brony the heck on, and bye, guys. Go celebrate Spike today. Both.